Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Recooking DNA. On today's episode, I will be making fish sauce and I'll be serving it with boiled rice plantain. So guys, if you're new here, please do well to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And do well to leave a comment. So at this point, let's go in. Welcome to Recooking DNA Kitchen. So on today's episode, I will be walking you through the tricks and tips on how I make my fish sauce. And I will be serving it alongside wheat boiled rice plantain. I'm so excited because this is my favorite meal. It is my favorite meal. So here are the ingredients for my episode today, fish sauce. So here is my fish already boiled and put into pieces. So here is my granite oil already sliced to my onion. This is my carrots. I'll be adding carrots, diced tomato, diced fresh pepper, seasoning, and my salt to taste. So here is my ripe, or these are ripe plantains. So I'll be boiling this with the back. So when I'm done, I will just remove the back and it comes out very well. So without wasting much of your time, let's go right into our cooking. Add a carrot oil. Add our onion. I like my onion looking round, especially when I'm, I want to make sauce. So I prefer my onions round in nature. So you can give it any size of your choice. Just immediately, get it going. And our tomato goes in immediately. And stir. Add a seasoning. Cross our salt to taste. Say. So at this point, I would allow this cook for a while. I'll let it get dried to give to have this dry, fresh looks. So. I'll just stir and I'll let this cook for a while. So these are little tips on when you're using your frying pan. When you're frying, it's advisable to take the handle to the other side. So that mistakenly you can't, maybe for example, you want to pick something and all that, so you won't mistakenly use your hand to hit the fry pan. So it goes this way. So let this allow, let's allow this cook for a little while. So add our carrots. You can see our tomato sauce is all cooked and is dried. You can see the oil. So I added um, enough oil because you can actually use this to eat yam. So yam and oil is fine. So And this oil will also assist the fish to fry very well. So that is it. So it's time to add the fish. So it's tight to fish to be, if you want it to come out very well, I prefer you use tight sauce fish. Okay? And this bone needs, try as much as possible not to have any bone in there. See how yummy this looks? Stir properly. Stir all the way. Our fish sauce is almost ready. And when you are stirring, be stirring, be very careful so the fish will not just mess up. So stir. Don't apply so much pressure when you are stirring. So I'll let this cook for a little while. This is looking very beautiful, right? Yeah, our fish sauce is ready. 
See, looking so yummy. So attractive. So if you look, this, look at it very well. It's covered that there's no much oil. So the oil has, has assisted the fish to fry very well. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Whatever thing you've seen here today, you want to make a comment, do it to leave a comment in the session box. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. From me to you is bye. See you next week.